I definitely try not to live in fear, um, but I check my back 10 times more than I ever used Always. to. That's because on October 20th, in the middle of the afternoon, Rebecca Peterson was shocked by a man she says grabbed her from behind, and there's video to show it. I just feel him right up on me, and my dress just goes completely up. And then I just felt him thrust himself against me. Um, and it wasn't until after that I really realized that his pants were down, that his thing touched me, um, and all of the above. And I just went to the ground right after. I think this is an egregious case. I think the conduct warrants felony-level filing. When first filing the case, Long Beach prosecutor Doug Halbert asked for the district attorney's office to elevate it to a felony because only a DA can do that. From the moment we got it, we believed that it was felony level conduct. But that was rejected by the DA's office for a lesser charge of misdemeanor sexual battery. The local prosecutor wasn't happy with that. This is why we took the step of sending it back to the district attorney's office to have them look at the case again. Did this man not see any of the footage? Peterson is upset with the DA. She says she's feeling like a victim for the second time. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm more angry than anything. The defendant in the case is a man named Miguel Avila Figueroa. Halbert says he has a criminal history and believes the DA should consider that too. We reached out to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office, which gave us this statement. We received a correspondence from the Long Beach City Prosecutor sharing his opinion on the matter. The case was carefully reviewed previously. However, based on additional information, the head deputy of our Sex Crimes Division will review the evidence and interview a witness that was located after our initial decision was made to determine whether any felony charges are provable. The next hearing of the case is scheduled for November 8th. In Long Beach, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.